Good morning guys. It's Tuesday and Tuesday means sales barn. Sales barn day. <laughs> Gonna see if they got guineas again. That's my goal. I mean I hinted to them last week. Do you have guineas? Do you have chicks? And he said no. So chances are if you're smart enough you take advice of people and you will go and have guineas and chicks this time so we're gonna see what they got I see some geese I see some chickens I see pigeons I don't know what else is there but we're gonna check it out and see what else is here we're kind of early ish we're, we're middle morning so it's not too bad all the vendors are set up I don't know if I was recording ah! the chickens ducks guineas they got guineas today. They, they got white ones and what kind would you get? Did you get a white one and then one of these? There's nothing in the sales barn. A couple of goats. But that's pretty much it, right? Empty. I don't know because we got here too early, but we got a little bit of something. <laughs> Sophie's really happy. Mm -hmm. Take a wild guess what do you think she has in her box. And I have a box. And you kind of already know what I have, so take a guess to see what I got in the box. Show you when I get home. Um, <laughs> we'll show you what Sophie's got when she gets home. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Sophie, don't I push my pig. I touched her and she screamed. Sophie is awful. I said oh, no God, ducks. Tiny. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. with pigeons. <laughs> Gosh. Oh my god, she's tiny. Is she full grown? Yes. I think. Full grown, <laughs> oh, she's blue eyes. Did you ask the guy? Oh, he's so cute. No. I just said, yeah, I'll take her. How much was she? Ten. <laughs> she's so cute. You just said, I'll take her, like you own the place. <laughs> yeah. I knew I was taking her home this time. I she said, as soon as she drove in, she knew she was taking her home this time. She is. She's tiny. So, you guys, it literally costs so much money to buy chickens now. Chickens go from like $30 to $200 for one chicken. Baby chicks, can, you can find them for 30 bucks. All right, so Sam finally got a couple of guineas. I thought you were gonna get the white one. They were all gone? They're all sold. Is one a boy and one a girl? Supposedly, but I don't know which one's the boy and which one's the girl. Well, I'm guessing the fatter one's the boy. Well, maybe this one with the big tail. It's the boy? It's the boy. We gotta get them some food and water. <laughs> get my duck. Let's move this so up. what kind of duck is that? Call duck. It's a call duck. Let's move that over there. So guineas are really hard to find right now. We cannot find them anywhere. Hopefully we will get uh, some eggs. Sam told him to bring more next week. Yeah, so he's gonna bring more next week. So we'll probably get white ones next week. So guineas are $25 each, just for one chicken. It's Which seems kind of cheap, <laughs> but I remember when they were eight dollars. I remember when they were six dollars. In in COVID times, they were six dollars, and now they're twenty-five. Yeah, he still has eggs. He ordered eggs. They're on their way. Are you a hundred percent sure one's a boy and one's a girl? Uh, we don't know. I mean, they definitely I mean, look. I think weird. that one there. That is one's a boy. got blood on it. I think that's one a boy. Yeah, the one with the funky. Well, they all have yeah. funky hair on them. Listen. That one. You might as well be friends with us because it's the kind of farm we have. Oh, the, pig's yeah, the pig is She's out there. The She's pushing the box. <laughs> She's rolling on it now. <laughs> round and round and round the box. Anyway, so these are our very first guinea fowl. How old are they, did you ask? No, I didn't ask. All right, so look at this one here. It has something that looks similar to... Oh, it's paws bloody. Yeah. It's paws bloody? Oh, we're gonna have to fix that. How does paw get bloody? I don't know, we'll have to wrap it. Anyway, this one here looks like it's got... That one over there looks like the... Wait, let's see. That one in the back looks like the hen, according to her feathers, and then this guy looks like he's got saddle feathers. Mine doesn't look like he has saddle feathers. I don't know. I can't tell. I have to look it up. She doesn't look like she has saddle feathers. Yeah, that's insane that you bought a duck. I told you. If it's still there, I'm coming out with it. We so next bought. week they're going to have more. Cause yeah, all we need are a bunch of hens now. 
do we need? If we can figure out what Thursday. Well, he'll tell you which one is which. But anyway, we got us some guinea fowl. We're going to be integrating them in with the chickens for the time being. But first, we're going to isolate them for a little bit. I have some medicine that I like to give any of our any of our chickens that we get from that place because you never know. This is our first time having guineas though. They're super cute though. I love them. I'm gonna go get them some water. I have medicine that I put in the water. So once they're done that medicine, then we'll start to move them over and so that they can be with the chickens and kind of bond with the chickens. Sophie went to get down, went down to the barn to get the small pool. Went to get down. Wow. Went down to get the small pool. We also have a larger pool. And it can't go there. Yeah, where are you gonna put it? Do you remember where we had it last year? A couple of years ago? Close to the house. So it was easy to fill. Anyway, I told Sophie she's in charge 150% of the duck. And you're probably gonna have to get another duck because... I know! It works so good! <laughs> oh my gosh. Or a goose. <laughs> no, and you might not get to keep her in the winter if we don't have a good setup. I know. I really want to start getting my garden ready. Anytime you want to dig it again. Sadly, it is time for the boys to start moving over into this area. We need a tarp. You want to get, well, can we keep it until you make something different? No, because then they can't build when it's in the way. When you have the stuff to build it, you can take it down. Look how cute. Everybody just chilling up there, relaxing, laying in the sun. Little Miss Rosie, someone asked me today, when is she due? She has exact, she's due May the 7th, you guys. May the 7th, she'll be a year old and she looks like she is dying of heat. Everybody still has a big winter coat on because Canada's weather is so off and on. Look at Cricket, she's my favorite goat. She's nothing that I thought I wanted. She's nothing like I, I thought she was gonna be. I, logistically, I should not love that goat, but she is honestly the best goat ever. She's just sweet, she's loving, she's brave as heck, and she just gets along in the world. Like, no matter what happens, she just gets along, and I just love her. So today I'm getting this area ready for the boys. Winston and Rocky will move over first and then in a few weeks um, the other boys will all move over before they move to their new house. Taking down the goose hut. We're gonna clear out this thing and we're gonna make this hut our boy hut. All right, so I am halfway done. I'm gonna remember this is gonna be our boy hut and it's got the mats underneath. I have to finish cleaning it out. Let me see if I can show you. So yeah, it's messy, but. White, gray, or green, or bluish eggs. What? White, gray, green, or bluish eggs. Let's hope she play, She lays green or blue eggs. The trailer is literally half full just from this one stall. And we're not even finished yet. I love you. I named her. Sophie is love. in love, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm in love too. She's honestly the cutest little thing. So people have her the, as her best friend before long. I, I love her. I, so she's a call duck. And I'm pretty sure my sister asked me if I wanted call ducks a few weeks ago and I said no. Why would you say that? Because she said that they are really sought after because they're tiny, tiny ducks. And they are tiny. To buy a dozen eggs is $50. Here she comes. She's like, I'm coming. She's running. What can I chase today? She just wants a baby to play with. We need to get another baby for her. Just joking. Ellie. Ellie's like, I really want to come in with you. I'll be your friend. She's a cutie. Told you. She looks huge in the camera. She's actually the tiniest little thing. I told you she's tiny. It's so summery out here. I have socks on. Today's the first day that my socks are feeling Get the chickens away. Too much. Hey, look, it's chicken they want to attack Ellie. They remember. This one is molting. Who but they. Ellie? Go right now. They remember that Ellie used to attack the rooster all the time. She is really sweet. Her name is? Lulu. Lulu. Shh, <laughs> I do shh. love her. Shh. Listen to how her sound. That is so cute. How do you know it's a girl? Oh my god, it's a boy. No, it's not. It is a boy. No. It is a boy. No. <laughs> It has a drake feather. No, it doesn't. 
I can't be Lulu. It's Lulu. And it's got to be old enough to be mature because. No, just wait till it lays an egg. Lulu's fine. Sylvie, if I taught you anything, have I not taught you to look at the things before you buy them? She was going out with me no matter what. <laughs> it's a boy. You thought Zoe was a boy? So, do you see that little feather that's all flipped up there? That's called a Drake feather. Oh, she's, she has curly feathers. Listen to her voice. Yeah, she's a girl. It's deep. I don't think she can get out. <laughs> I'll check it out, but I'll look it up, but I'm fairly certain that that right there is a baby boy duck, or it's a, an adult boy duck. No, it's a baby and it's a girl. So we'll have to get another one. Wow! See, this is what happens when you buy something new. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful and perfect. I'm obsessed. I love it. You did a really good job on that. I know it's huge so this will be our new chicken coop and this will hold our guineas for now right yeah so you know what would be better like so we'll have this coop and then we'll have that coop and then if we got rid of this thing and built a coop from that thing to there that would be a perfect baby brooder we also have that whole room there I can clear out and... all right I'd love you to clear that out that could be and there's the door right there yeah so you just block off that door I like it. Sophie's already well on her way to taming this little thing. She, she got really upset when we left him in school. He already eats out of her hand. Or maybe not. Was he eating? Yeah, he ate a couple pieces. I'm obsessed. I'm so glad I... You turned so glad I married you, Sam. My love language is acts of service, man. It makes me so happy. So this is turning into like the hub of our... Of our backyard. Hey, piggy, piggy, piggy! I want to make like an area that we can sit out here with all of our animals. <laughs> Come on, piggy! Come on! So Sam was in the barn getting wood to make the finish the chicken coop, and he found this little pig. Isn't it adorable? So he told me I should paint it, hang it up on the barn where the pigs are gonna go. I thought she'd be scared to come in here because I left her in here before. It's so weird how times change, how things change. Just a couple of days ago, I was thinking how frustrated I was with this barn because it was getting so like cold. It was so cold and so damp and I was just ready for spring. And then today, it's such a nice reprieve from this heat. Like it is so hot and, and crazy outside. Coming in the barn feels amazing. So I don't know if you guys remember, but this is going to be our pig area. Sam doesn't think we should because it has it has wood floors. But I think it's good because it has, it's a small room. They can cuddle together. It'll be easy to put hay in here and they're gonna have big, huge, heavy blankets close to the door so they can go out that way with the boy goats. The pigs are gonna be with the bucks. I don't know where the pigs are gonna be. I want them to be able to wander around, so I don't really want them to be on this side of the goat area. I want them to be able to roam around. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of even thinking about putting the pigs upstairs. You guys know upstairs? Because they don't poop in their, in their bed. They go outside, they're really clean. We are getting there, we got a door going on. And after that, all it is is the hardware cloth. And we're finished. Mm -hmm. Is that where the guineas are going to go for now? Probably. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Hi. <laughs> I'm looking for a pig. Have you seen one? Look at Storm Can't Handle the Sun. Where is it? I hear it. I hear a pig. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Did you find it? The pig? I swear I hear it. <laughs> I love being on the farm, you guys. I just look over and there's a hundred goats over there. They just all came running. Adorable, and then the baby's running. Don't come in here, don't come in here. So, hopefully, find the pig. So, this is where another consideration for the goat, for the pigs, I might, put them up here because with a bunch of 
straw. They might, I mean, it's windy up here. It's not very good protection from the elements, but clearly some birds have been up here. Sam says that he thinks there's chicken wire fencing in here. Oh, I see it. I think that's it. What the heck is this? I found the pig. I knew she was in here. <laughs> she has company. Don't you know that you're beautiful?